Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Diary of a What Noob with me, Dwybo. Here we are with the M3 Stewart. It's fully researched, and I was going to take advantage of the cheaper tanks during this special offer period to get the M5. Stupidly, I should have done this and sold it yesterday when it was still getting full price for the sale, and then bought the M5 today at half price. But We'll get on with it now, and there's also half-price crew training, so we can get these guys back to a decent percentage on the new tank for cheap. We're fully upgraded. We're running it with uh, net and binos, as usual. Let's see how it does in its last battle. So, Himmelsdorf, nice and up the top of the tree. All the low tier battles have been nice and tight ones so far today. I think it's because there's lots of people online, probably lots of newcomers starting, and they're on their low tier tanks. Now we're in an encounter battle, so the spawn must remember the base, got to remember, is over on the west side, and we're all going to be fighting for it. We're quite nippy, not a lot of armour. Our camo net and binos are going to be no use at all. But that's the way it goes. We are quite nicely up the top of the tree, so anything we see we can hurt. We want to avoid that SU-76 and the T-82, which will hurt us badly. And Artie will, of course, be trying to drop things on our head. But we're quite nippy. We'll get up this hill. See what we can see at the top. Again, American tank decent gun depression. Not as good as the two British I've just been trying, which have got ridiculous gun depression. But we'll get up here, we'll spot what's coming around the berm. There's a BT-7. Maybe pop in a couple of detects. Try and draw a shot, there we go. And miss, that's poor. There we go. Uh, there's Artie just fired, so we need to watch out for him. And not come too far out. That's gotta hurt. Oh, that was a bad shot. I really, really ought to get all snipery on him. No need. So we know Artie is down the far side. Our team mobbed him, so that's good. We need to push on. Get what we can out of the slow pokes coming up the hill. Oh, a couple of looks. That's the SU's just done a runner. We haven't got the gun depression. That looks is actually AFK. Oh, twitchy night. Come on. Stop twitching. We'll take out the AFK. Oh, who's just woken up? Now we need to go. Could have just gone straight past him, but if he'd woken up once we were past, that would have been nasty. Straight past this gap, not worrying about him too much. We need to get around and break the cap. None of our team seems to be really moving in that direction. They're concentrating on him, which isn't good for us. Those guys may well turn and take out the arty. We do need to get there and break the cap. We've got plenty of time, there's no need to rush this. Right, remember that SU-76 is now behind us. Keep getting round, round this corner. He may well have lit us up as well. There we go, someone's stopped him already. Good boys. Uh, he's right behind that corner, but we know he's just there. Put a couple of shots in there. Oh, there's somebody over here. Enemy armor is and we got somebody shooting from the front as well. Let's bail from this. Oh lord. Auto cannoning bloke. They're hit. Penetration. That's gotta hurt. 
There we go. Got him pinned. And get round here. Missed him. See, this is why I'm useless at running and gunning. Right, we just managed to survive that, but then he's a tier 2, so we really, really should have done. We need to just get this guy. There we go. Just broken the cap again. And then there's this E6 here. Keep moving on the reload. It's taking him down. Oh no, there's another one behind us. What's going on here? We are getting a hammer in. We have got a hammer in. 9-12, not good. Not good at all. I'm not sure what happened to everybody else there. But we got a bit stuck out in the open. We needed to get back down this street behind us. Whether we'd then have been able to take out all three of them is another matter. We should also have got rid of that T1E6 a lot quicker. That's my bad driving and reactions for you. Not very good. Perhaps I should have gone on to auto-aim so that I could let the game do all that for me and just concentrate on trying to steer clear of his shots. Those are the brakes. The rest of the team haven't done... Oh, Artie's got a kill. Very nice. In TD mode. R46 is in trouble, let's be honest. He's going to have to do a lot here. And he's only got the machine gunny type gun from the look of it. It would help if he actually got round the corner and helped Artie out, but there we go. He's got a couple of kills, lost some hit points. Perhaps he's got a injured commander or something. Or perhaps not. Now, a lot of those look like misses. But I can't talk since I missed that one E6 so many times. Oh, he's got him there though. I don't know if he's actually... Well, he's gone now. Whether he was actually stopped, stuck, damaged, or whether he was just not driving. So there we go. Last battle in the M3 Stewart. Not brilliant, it has to be said. Although we did top the list, and we did do 600 points of damage out of our 240 own hit points. So we did okay there. Even got some base defence points. As you can see, fully upgraded, nice little tank. It can be a bit sluggish on the turn, I find. For all that it's got a 45 traverse speed, it does seem to lose a lot of that once it gets up to speed and turns like a bit of a boat. But it's manoeuvrable. Its acceleration is good. I think it gets slowed down a bit by putting all the extra weight on. But it can get to places. It's got reasonable gun depression and can deal out some punishment as well. Nice little tank. It's going to be a shame to see that one go, but it really is time to move on to the M5, which we shall be back with in just one minute. So, here we are with the M5 Stuart. Looking like the M3 more of the same. We've got the M3 crew are in now and retrained using the half price retraining. We had to recruit an extra loader, so he's come in at the straight 75% for training. These guys have trained back to 85%, so not too bad. Playing the extra games in the M3 to get their skill up has carried over quite nicely onto the new tank. We've upgraded the radio because we had it. The tracks we haven't, and it's a pleasant surprise, but the engine already researched has gone in, and the tier 3 gun already researched has gone in. A bit worried, tier 3 gun on a tier 4 tank. We shall have to see. Even better, even with the standard stock tracks, we can still mount the binoculars and the camo net, and since I'm 
guessing that like the 38 na this is going to be a scout tank being put into high tier battles we'll have to make the most of that compared to the 38 na it looks quite high so we're going to have to possibly look for some different scouting positions the view range isn't too bad i think it gets a lot better with the second turret so we shall be waiting for that and other than that speed is high traverse and turret traverse are both very good on this so once we've got everything sorted we've got the crew back up it looks like it'll be quite a nippy little tank until then we shall have to do the best we've got the camo net but we've got no camo skills so we're going to be outclassed a lot of the time we'll just have to do what we can and hope our team takes advantage of it so let's see how it plays in battle remember note to self no armor no hit points and we very luckily got a tier 4 battle that is the best we could have hoped for first time out we've got not too much trouble with the cov or the a20 the hets uh, the lee will be difficult from the front so will the matilda uh, but from the side easy peasy m8a1 is a soft American TD from what I remember and um, we'll have no trouble shooting him from the front SAU very difficult T28 buttery hull as we found out when we were playing it RT easy if we can get to them so there's not too much there everything can hurt us we can hurt everything although sometimes we're gonna have to sort of get a bit sideways to it so I think we're going to start by nipping off up in this direction and I hope some team follows me. Team isn't following me. I'm not in the business of dying horribly alone today. The M3 Lee would rather stop and type questions about nationality than actually get to a decent place on the map. Ah, uh, now they're all coming, so give them a bit of time to catch up. It means we haven't got first position but I'd rather be there late than be there first and get killed on my own. An A20 right at the back. Lee's stopped in the middle of the road. So that A20 is back there and that's the first thing that's been seen. They may not have pushed up yet So we'll carry on. There's a Matilda, is it? Over there with a PZ3. So we need to watch for crossfire. We need to see if anything's come up here, which it doesn't look like it has. He's still behind a building. Ah, MA A1. If we can get a shot on him, we'll be happy, happy. And we have, and we've done no damage at all. That's better. Watch for his turret turning. So he wasn't bothered about me at all. Oh, A20. And that looked like an arty shell. What we're going to do is try and get back here. Ah, someone's got him anyway. And someone just one shot the A20. That was arty. Shot him, set him on fire. Complete toast. Oh, okay, that's the Covenanter. And if we've lost our gunner, and there's a T28 down there as well, that is not good. They stayed back for rather a long time and let their teammates die, which wasn't nice of them. No, we can't get away from them. We've lit them up. There was. I didn't think they'd be there because they didn't join in. Which is either a good plan or a bad plan, depending on whether you're the one who died because they didn't join in or not. So I guess their A20's a bit steaming about it. 
But, good ambush on me, I'll give them that. Were they platooned? No, no, they both just decided to stay back a bit. They may have decided to stay a bit too far back, although the blokes in the town are mopping us up without too much issue. Oh, that Covenanter's... I was going to say, has a good place. He's got an okay place. Yeah, it's so okay that he's now dead, in fact. So, not the most excellent of battles. First time out. I think we'll just pause that and let that run to death because it'll take them ages to get that Lee. So, we'll rejoin at the end. So, it'll be no surprise to hear that we lost that battle. Here we go. We spotted the Cove and the T-28. We So, there was no way I could have known about them before I arrived. Which makes me feel a bit better that I didn't miss something on the minimap. Damage... Ah, detected damage. That's right. And the only thing we actually damaged was the M8A1 for 113. Which is pretty poor it has to be said we did unfortunately still manage to come second on the team sheet so that really does put the rest of the team into perspective not picking on anybody mustn't pick on people we did 113 points of damage bearing in mind we had four penetrating hits so that's uh, that's not far off. It's one one shell into the tracks for a no damage penetration or something, uh, and the other three for average damage. So yes, we need to do a lot more shooting to rack up more damage because that wasn't even half of our own hit points there. So we need to get more shells into things. We did some detecting damage though, which as a scout is kind of our job. I'm guessing that's the uh, nuking the A20 with the orbital arty. So, not a good start with that tank. It's going to take us a while yet to research the tracks and the turret, at which point we can give the howitzer a try and see how that goes. After that, it is a long old time to the chaffee or the M7 if we decide to go that way. We shall see. But little to go on from that battle itself. The tank seemed to live up to what we were expecting from its stats, bearing in mind the weaker than crew, so that would have reduced everything. The gun doesn't do a lot, but it does do not a lot quite quickly and accurately. So we need to work on that, especially in a tier 4 fight, work on our crew possibly upgrade to the how it's uh, and generally just play it and get used to it so uh, yes I am looking forward to that one it just seems to be similar to the M3 and we enjoyed that so once I've got the knack of this one I'm sure I'll be enjoying this one as well so till then ta-ra mm -hmm.